Hey guys, uh, just thought I'd make another vlog. Uh, this time it's uh, post saving the Mr. Lombardi 2. Um, if you guys uh, didn't know, this was a tournament that happened like yesterday. And uh, what's special about this tournament was that it was like a uh, extremely stacked regional. And um, the highest place in non invite person um, gets to go to Summit. And I was really close to making it, but uh, I ended up getting like third place. And uh, yeah, uh, Fiction won the tournament, but he already got invited to Genesis. And uh, IDW got second place, and I got third. And yeah, I just felt like talking about um, kind of like my my Genesis video. I just want to talk about like uh, you know like um, preparation, my stakes, and what I want to do after. And um, yeah, and maybe some other stuff too. So yeah, let's begin. Um, if you're like a top 16 city, you got to float in into like a uh, a pool. And um, another dude gets like, has to go through a bracket and gets added to the pool. So I was like first seed in my pool. And um, you know, I, I think um, pretty good result all around. I played ice first. Ice was actually very tough. Um, I was up 2-0. And then he like stepped up really hard. But then I, uh, I like clinched out game four. Played West Balls. Uh, I usually have a lot of trouble with West, but um, I beat him this time around. Franz is um up and coming Dr. Mario player, and uh, I haven't played him in a long time. I think he's mad good, a lot of potential. Just has to play a lot of better people. Really good at the defensive game, and he's used to people like um, camping him back because everyone camp stock and all that. And um. Played Ginger. I don't, I don't think he played great um, this set. 3 0 him. He got second seed, which is interesting. Um, and then Prince Abu was the guy who won his uh, unseeded bracket up to this point. And um, yeah, he was actually pretty tough. I'm not surprised he uh, made it out of the pool. Like, uh, <clears throat> overall, pretty solid, you know, puff gameplay. Even though I thought I leveled up the matchup, he was tough. So yeah, every everyone was pretty tough in my pool, but I got first seed. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. It was all best out of five. I don't know if best of five is like the best play for like a six man pool like this into a crazy bracket for like a one day tournament, but it's the way they chose to do it. And um, yeah, after that, um, I played um, Professor Pro. Um, Prof, he's actually, um, stepped up against Falcon, like, hella. Like, I think, um, he must play Sechi a lot. And, um, he probably hates losing to Sechi. Sechi's, like, a 20 GXer, so he probably, uh, that's probably what, like, drove him to, uh, get really good against Falcon. And I think he has, like, a really strong develop style overall. So, he ended up beating me in winners. And uh, let me pull up the bracket here for you guys. But yeah, Prof has like a unique style that's really strong. That no, he doesn't play like other foxes that are like as good in the matchup. So uh, I guess he's not one to be fucked with. Yeah, he's good. He's got my respect. He used to be. Uh, I used to be like, oh, I'm playing Prof. Nice. Time, time for a relatively easy W, you know, so. Yeah, good shit to him. Honestly, he was like probably the worst possible uh, draw for me. I got first seed and then uh, like because I got first seed, I got like probably the hardest person for me out of like the entire crowd. And, um, you know, like uh, I lost pretty early here, unfortunate. And then um, I had a pretty... Um, long ass uh loses run too i mean this tournament was pretty grueling honestly like uh five sets in best out of five then like six seven eight nine ten eleven i had to 
basically win like 11 best out of fives against really tough people. And I almost did it. Uh, I gotta be kind of proud that I almost pulled it off. But yeah, it's really fatiguing. And um, anyways, let's go. Let's just go through the games. I played Keizu, Um He's beaten me once in the past. He's a um, very defensive peach. But I, he got way cleaner in um, that one Mango where Swedish Delight won. He got like second place. So yeah, some close games. Game four was uh, Found in the Dreams and I had a runaway lead. But yeah, overall pretty frustrating guy to play against, but he's good. Like a um, very clean defensive and he'll just randomly do some like peach stuff out of nowhere. And like, you're just like, what the fuck? Why'd you do that? <laughs> this guy's an idiot. But he makes it work. And then um, I played Joey, unfortunately. And um, I'd say we we're both playing pretty bad. And um, game five, we like literally choked last stock for like two minutes straight. Like we couldn't kill each other. And then um, I like tried to like roll. And I did like four smash and I hit him and I killed him. So pretty trash set also. And I played uh, Ginger. He, this time around, he played a lot better. And, um... Yeah, I wasn't, like, too... The level of play was, like, going down. I think, uh... You know, I've been gymming. People have been telling me, like, I look, like, thinner. So, it's paying off. But, uh, I think... You know, I gotta step up my cardio a lot more so I can, like, uh... You know, cruise through these tournaments and not descend into my BHC game as quickly or as hard. Um, yeah, Ginger played a lot better. I played worse, but still good enough to beat him. Pretty close games overall. Um, game 5, I uh, think I 3-stocked him, or 2-stocked him. Um, Prof, I had a rematch. This time I'd say I was like more ready for him. I thought I was going to play army, but surprisingly, Prof beat army, and uh, yeah, like, uh, I was more ready for him this time, obviously, because I played with winners, and um, I basically, I wasn't playing, like, I had a pretty bad edge guard punish game, like, uh, I find when I'm, like, starting to suck ass at melee, uh, my punish and, like, my edge guarding, like, those are the first things to like go down so that's like the things I got to work on especially when I'm not playing my A game I got to make sure uh got the taken care of but anyways um if you watch the set like uh I had a really good bag of tricks that I used on him and ended up working out like uh last stock of game four I uh I did like a pretty slick like shield poke stomp he didn't see it coming for the W and uh yeah overall proud of that set because Prof is a dangerous opponent and I give him respect uh loses finals IBW this was like a weird set too um I think I normally had the edge but um you know I was really fatigued at this point and um I definitely could have um felt like uh, I have a small edge once again I, I repeat myself but uh yeah same same shit as prof like uh I kind of slacked in like the punish game and edge guarding and that definitely bit me in the ass in the set I still I was down 0 and 2 and 0 and I still could have won um yeah that's how I kind of feel about it uh very close to getting the summit spot I uh you know, I prep um, in the week, but I think I didn't prep enough in like grinding out the Fox matchup. Like at Genesis, and that uh, I went to Nimbus. I I played like a lot of really good people, but I didn't really play any like crazy foxes in like high pressure sets. And I think <coughs> that might have been like the deal breaker for me in this tournament. Um, like I should have maybe went to Verdugo and played like uh, Fiction. Um, S-Fat, if he, if I would have ended up playing him. I didn't play S-Fat at, uh, 
what's it called? Um, Nimbus, because he lost to uh, Face Roll. But anyways, yeah. Like a lack of Fox sets, I should have went to more locals or uh, even just uh, granted on netplay more. I, I kind of thought netplay was fucking me up. Because all I did was netplay and not play real life melee, but uh, it's still better than nothing. So, yeah, my I mean, prep could have been a little better, but, um, you know, like in 27, 2018 melee, uh, <coughs> I was still like climbing the ranks, but I was losing to like a lot of uh, up and coming foxes, like Aston Page beat me three times, so I'm like, damn, I really gotta grind this matchup like every day and in 2019 i literally just played uh you know phil if you watch my streams like almost every day an hour and i literally almost never lost to a fox it kind of culminated in like uh me getting second place to shine because i had like a sick fox bracket i beat like hex as fat moki idw and um yeah, I kind of um, stepped away from that practice, um, you know, regimen of playing like a fox an hour a day. And I think it lets me, my best matchup, like screwing me over, <laughs> like slightly in the end. So a little disappointing. I should have, uh, you know, sometimes you do really well at like a matchup and you develop like a, probably some kind of ego and like, oh, I don't got to practice that as much. Or, um, you know, I beat this guy a lot in the past. I should be fine. But, you know, everyone's melee is constantly evolving. Everyone's getting more try hard and better. So, gotta do everything it takes. So, yep. That's all I gotta say about this tournament. I will stream and uh, go over all my stream games, kind of like Genesis. This time around, I'll make it a. Uh, the YouTube video is more concise and better. Um, in terms of uh, upcoming tournaments, uh, there's not going to be much till uh, probably like February uh, 28th, I think. That's when DreamHack Anaheim is. So until then, I'm going to stream a lot and play a lot of melee for you guys and stream some of the cool games of StarCrafts. I've been really wanting to play a lot more Sl Slate Aspire, kind of getting into card games a lot more in general. and. Uh, yeah, local wise, um, I realize um, it's it's like impossible to play with like Mango and Joey and like you know the old days of like Fun Day, Fun Day Tuesday, or even just general like uh, play in person. It's just like I can't count on it. And, like we always try to plan for it, but it never happens often. So I'm just gonna go to locals and play like the up and coming, like promising SoCal people. Um. Also, I know Fiction goes some some events. Same with like Joey or like a, you know, like Captain Face Roll, those type of people. So, planned events for like Monday is a, a tournament I scoped down in LA called like Monday Night Melee. Wednesday, I'm gonna do uh, <clears throat> try to do Verdugos in Burbank, and Thursday I'm gonna try to go to Nimbus. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to have that schedule every week leading up to uh, DreamHack Anaheim. And um, probably after I'll keep trying to do that as much as possible because, uh, you know, I want to stay sharp at the game, especially versus like Fox. So, yep. Um, so, yeah. Just going to keep trying to pump out content, you know, keep building my YouTube, Twitch, and... Uh, Keep trying to kick ass at melee. Overall, um, I can't be too unhappy with third. This tournament was like really fucking hard. I beat a lot of good people. Like, uh, I had like 11 sets versus like very tough people, and I basically went nine and two. So that's nothing to be sad about. End of the day. Like, uh, yeah, I didn't get into summit, but uh, you know, my work's starting to like pay off after like a uh, kind of rough 2019 second half so I think I'm going back on the you know the come up or whatever so yeah I didn't get into the summit a lot of people ask me like uh, hey why aren't you campaigning there's a lot of uh, 
like not crazy looking people campaigning you can totally get in uh, <coughs> all i gotta say is like um the voting the voting system really isn't for me like you gotta like sell out hardcore and like this is the ninth summit so people know the strats for like getting in and um it's like not about like hey who deserves to get in and all that it's more about uh how well can you sell us slash how organized are you and how rich are your homies slash fan base and um you know i campaigned for some a fair amount of times and i just don't want to do any more and it's just not me and uh you know i do love camp competing is the best but is it worth doing this not really and uh yeah looking at this like there's two thirty thousand plus vote bombs and uh it's like 50 votes for a hundred dollars spent 25 so this was probably like a uh like a 15k fifteen thousand dollar bomb and this guy didn't even get in right beat so spark must have one upped him by uh, like a bit to get in so yeah i don't wanna i this this process sucks in my opinion i don't want to do it i hate you know begging people for money if anything you want to drop a 15k bomb just fucking give me the money instead directly i'm just messing but uh yeah just never want to do it again uh even though i didn't get in barely i'm happy as shit that i'm not campaigning and i'll never do it i want to just get in because i qualified or deserve it Also, I want to talk about, like, uh, <clears throat> with all that being said, thank you for all the past support getting me into Summit. And, um, yeah, I, I know I don't, like, uh, talk or express myself much, and I'm sorry about that. Like, uh, I used to, like, strictly adhere to, like, uh, you know, I want my play to do the talking. And I don't want, like, uh, to be like some dumb memer or you know just i want my play to do the talking but you know when you're at summit you gotta there are times when you do gotta like talk and express yourself whether it's like through commentary playing mafia and all that and um you know that's definitely the time for me to like uh you know just be chill with people and talk rather than just like be i guess selfish in a way and only play for like getting first place or whatever so yeah in the future when if i get in through qualifying um you know i promise i'll uh have more fun at summit contact with people and um you know have more fun at the event try to get in more skits and you know act my ass off even if it's like really meme -y, just fuck it so yeah um Overall, it was like sad for like 30 minutes after I lost um, the tournament. But, you know, I think I gained a lot from Mr. Lombardi too. My prep was like a a little better than, say, Genesis 7. And, yeah, I think um, I can have a really good result at Anaheim, DreamHack Anaheim, just by put the time and work in. So I think I know what I got to do, and I'm going to just keep grinding trying to get the first place so yeah just shout outs to all you guys watching supporting me um you know if whether you sub you watch my stream or um you're just a viewer of smash thanks for uh you know letting me live the dream and i appreciate all that and uh yeah the next stream will probably be going over um uh, Next melee stream rather will be over going over all my sets again once again and I'll upload them to YouTube. So just so yeah, thanks a lot. Peace out. <laughs>